Hey everyone! So I wanted to put together a video of my favorite eyeliners and this is kind of like the chemo edition of that. Um, every eyeliner that I'm going to be including in this video I have used since starting chemo and since my eyelashes have started to thin out and I obviously really like them because I'm including them in a favorites video. I wanted to let you know the eyeliners that have worked well for me personally through my chemo experience because using an eyeliner normally and using an eyeliner during chemo are two completely different things as I've discovered. My eyes are watering constantly, I'm dealing with the thinning of my lashes um, and just other variables that are tossed in the mix that I've never had to deal with before and so I've really been loving these eyeliners because they stay put through all of the things that chemo throws at me. So I wanted to share what I've been loving with you guys in case you're looking for a new eyeliner that works during chemo. Even if you're not in chemo, these eyeliners are fantastic. Like I said, I use them pre-chemo and I use them during chemo and I love them. This is going to be kind of a boring video because I don't have any fun colors. I literally have black, brown, and nude. Black and brown are what people are going to use the most and, um, and I'll explain why I have a couple of nude liners that I've included. That's typically what I use. I rarely use colored liner. Um, I usually, if I do a pop of color, I usually do it with a, with an eyeshadow on the lower lashes. I do have some fun liners and there's one MAC liner that I absolutely love that's like a peacock blue and I'm leaving it out because it's not really everybody's cup of tea. So without further ado, let's get this started. I will start with Stila just simply because that's what I'm wearing today. Um, I'm wearing this one. It's the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner and this one is in the shade Stingray. I'll swatch it on the back of my hand for you. So that's what that one looks like. It's just a super, super matte black. It has great staying power. I also have the brown one from that same range and it's one of my favorite browns to use just because it's really unique and really cool looking. This one is called Lionfish and it's just a really unique brown. It's got kind of some coppery undertones to it and it's got some metallic in it and it's just really pretty and it's really, um, flattering on the eyelid and it's just it's just kind of fun to have like a little pop of sparkle it doesn't have any glitter or anything like that in it it just has some metallic it's got some kind of maroon hints to it so those are my two that I have and that I love from the Stila pencil line the smudge stick line I also have one of their liquid liners and I absolutely adore it I just have the black one the color is intense black this is what it looks like it's their Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Um, it's one of my favorite liquid liners. I, I really like it. It's easy to apply. It's got a felt tip um, applicator and you can get a really thin, really precise line with it and that's what I love. There you go. So this thin line right here is that Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner. Um, it does dry with kind of a sheen to it. It's not a completely matte finish. That's the only thing that I don't care for. If it really bugs you, you can always set it with a matte black eyeshadow. It doesn't bother me too much. I really like the staying power and it's just a really nice eyeliner in general. Easy to work with. Um, I don't use liquid liner a whole lot. I usually just use um, gel or a pencil. And, but when I do use a liquid liner, this is usually the one that I go towards. It's just super easy. So next I have Hourglass. I just have one of their eyeliners to show you. Um, it's fairly new. It came out towards the end of last year and it's their mechanical gel liner. And it looks like this. And it's just, it looks like a pencil, but it's actually a gel liner. It's got the thinnest little tip though. The application is super easy because it's so precise and for being hourglass, it's pretty inexpensive. It's, I think, $16 for this. Um, it doesn't have a whole lot of product. They do sell them in three packs too, but, um, but I just got one to try it out and I'm absolutely loving it. It's just, um, you kind of like click it up and then it's a gel, it's literally a gel liner in mechanical pencil form. I love it you can get such a precise line it is super matte black I'm just going over this a couple of times because I kind of drew crooked but it's this one right here and it is 
super black. It does not budge when you put it on. It does not go anywhere. It is just phenomenal. I love it. It's probably the eyeliner that I've been using most lately. Whether you wanna just darken up your lash line or do a thicker line, you can do it with this because the tip is so small and it's so precise. Next, I have a couple of Urban Decay liners. They're both from the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil range. They have a huge range of colors in these pencils. I love that they have such a dark brown. Lately, um, because my lashes are getting thinner, I've been wearing more of a brown because it's less, you know, pow. And when I lose all of my lashes, if I don't put false ones on, I'll probably just throw a brown liner on. And this is probably the one that I'm going to throw on. It is such a dark brown. It's almost black, but it's not as, it, it wouldn't be as harsh as black would be when I have no lashes to go along with it. It's this one right here. And as you can see, it's, it's a super, super dark brown but it's just a little, so it's just softer than a black would be. That one's one of my favorite liners just to wear anytime. I've worn this liner for probably three years now. Um, I love pairing it with any neutral look that I do. And I just, I really like it. I've always loved it. Um, I also love one of the blacks in that same range. This one is Perversion. Not to be confused with Zero, the other black in that range. I do not like Zero at all. It is probably my least favorite eyeliner on the planet. Just because when I wear a black liner, I want it to be black. Zero is almost like a dark gray, and I just, I don't care for it at all. But I love Perversion. It is probably the blackest black pencil eyeliner I've ever used. You can see it here. On the bottom and it is just super super black it has decent staying power um the urban decay mask oh, mascara the urban decay eyeliners are not my favorite as far as staying power goes but as far as like a black black pencil liner perversion is my favorite the next one that i have is a mark jacobs gel pencil liner. So kind of similar with the hourglass one, it's gel in a pencil form. This is just one of the small ones. It's one that I got from Sephora as a hundred point perk. I think they sell the same size and kind of like a travel kit. There's like five or six eyeliners. Um, and then they sell this on its own too, in a full size. And this is the brown one and it's called Brown Out. And it's one that I've been wearing a ton lately. It has kind of these really fine glitters in it. So here's Brown Out by Marc Jacobs. And you can see it's not the darkest brown. Like here's that demolition one from Urban Decay. And this one's Brown Out from Marc Jacobs. And it's just got this really pretty sheen to it. And it just adds a lot of definition to the eye and a lot of interest. Just because it's got such a great finish it just adds a little something extra to the eye. I've found with any gel liner, even like in pencil form, the staying power is great. The next one that I have is by Kat Von D. It's one of her lightning liners and it's in the shade Hide. It's a click up pen with a felt tip. And so since it clicks up, it doesn't dry out as easily as a lot of other felt tip liners would. Along the same lines as Brown Out, it's got a really kind of metallic-y, shiny finish. It's right here. And it just adds so much interest and such a pop to the eyes. It's almost got like kind of a coppery metallic finish. And it's just, it's really pretty. That's the only Kat Von D liner that I have. I don't have their tattoo liner, but um, you might check out the tattoo liner, especially in black. I've heard nothing but amazing things about that liner and about its staying power. So the tattoo liner by Kat Von D in the black color, you might give that a try. Next I have a liquid liner from The Balm. It's called Schwing. I absolutely adore The Balm. If nothing else for their packaging, it's just super, super cute. So this is their liquid liner called Schwing. So it's a twist off cap with a brush and it's one of my favorite liquid liners. It is so crazy black. It's the blackest liquid liner that I have. 
and you'll see in a second. Prepare yourself. Well, bam. Look how black that is compared to the other black liners. Like, I just, I love this liner. I love the balm. Um, and I love catching their sales on Ho Look because you can get everything for at least 50% off. Um, if you've never tried Ho Look before, it's a company, it's kind of a sub company of Nordstrom. Um, and it's online and they have all these amazing deals on tons of different brands, tons of different products. But you have to kind of watch for what brand, the brand that you're looking for. Um, Cause they'll just do like randomly, oh, we're gonna have the bomb on this day. And it, the sales only last for a couple of days. Stuff sells out really easily, but you can find products at half off. And so whenever I wanna buy something from the bomb, I always buy it on Hope Look. And Schwing was no different. I bought that on Hope Look. The only downfall to Hope Look is that it takes about three, four weeks to get your product. But if you don't mind waiting, it's a great way to go. So I've got a couple more pen liners. These ones are super inexpensive. These are my favorite drugstore liners. Um, they're from the brand Jordana. You can find them at CVS. I don't think they sell them at Rite Aid. I think it's just CVS. You know, it's not the blackest liner I've ever used, but the price point alone is worth it. It's literally like $3. I think it's, I think they're $2.99. They might even be less than that. They might be $2.50. Um, for that price, it's completely worth it. I'll also swatch the brown one that I have. And even though they're not like super intense and super, the black one's not super black, they're still really, really nice. And the staying power is great. It doesn't, on me, it doesn't move. The next one that I have is an, another black liner and it's my favorite gel liner of all time. Um, it's the Inglot gel liner and it's in the shade 77, which is just their matte black. Um, this is what it looks like inside the pot. Mine is super, super messy. I've used a ton of it. As you can see, you can see the bottom. But um, I'm not gonna swatch it because I don't have a, a brush to swatch it with, but it's my absolute favorite gel, gel liner. It is super black. It goes on completely matte and the stuff does not budge. It does not come off unless you want it to. It's fairly inexpensive. Um, there's, you can find Inglot either online or you can find them in some Macy stores. Um, they have a list of store locations on their website, but if you've never tried Inglot, I would really recommend it. I'd recommend any of their products. Their shadows are really inexpensive and really good quality, um, but their eyeliner, their eyeliner is incredible. Like I said, this is my favorite gel liner, and I know a lot of um, like makeup artists and beauty gurus and stuff on YouTube would say the exact same thing, that this is the best gel liner that they've ever tried. So it's a great price. I, I wanna say it's like 11 or $12 if that, um, and it's just a great product. So you might check out Inglot. The last two that I have, um, they're different brands, but they're the same, in about the same color. So these are the nude liners that I talked about. The first one is by NARS, and it's one of their larger than life long wear eyeliners. And it's in the shade Rue Bonaparte. This is what color it is. You can barely see it because it's nude. And you might be like, why would I need a nude eyeliner? It's not even gonna show up. The key is to use a nude liner on your waterline. It makes your eyes appear bigger. It makes you look more awake. So if you're having a day after chemo where you're looking really tired, a nude eyeliner on your waterline, it'll do the trick. Um, I also wanna show you a drugstore option. This is the Rinmal Scandalize Eyeliner. Um, it's almost the same color as the NARS one. It's a little bit darker, but it serves basically the same purpose. More awake, bigger eyes, nude liner. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this gave you an idea of some new eyeliners to check out. And if you do check them out, I hope you love them as much as I love them. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll answer them for you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.